Kate's nail tutorials, I demonstrated that you don't need any fancy tools to create amazing nail art designs. But today we're taking a step further and we're making these five totally adorable and easy nail art designs. And the only tool you're going to need is no tool. Yes, you heard me right. All we need for all of these five designs are nail polishes. Are you guys excited? I'm sure you are. So let's dive in. So many interesting nail designs can be created by just using the nail polish brushes. I'm gonna share 5 of them with you today. Let's kick off by applying a layer of base coat. I'm currently looking for a new base coat. Do you guys have any favorites to recommend? Since I'm painting my nails a lot lately, I really want to protect them well. The first design reminds me of a superhero. Let's call it the Wonder Woman nail art. I'm starting off with a glittery dark green polish. For me, two coats are enough for a nice opaque result. Now I'm going in with a white polish. Draw a diagonal stripe from the outer part towards the center. Start at the middle of the nail and drag the line to the tip. Do this on both sides. If you need to, clean the skin around your nail with a Q-tip soaked in acetone. Now make two parallel lines using a bright red or orange polish. I find these are much easier to draw since you already have a white polish as a guide. See how we transformed the plain manicure into a fun and interesting one with just four strokes. Apply a top coat to make your design last longer and add some shine. This could also be a great idea for Halloween if you want to transform yourself into a powerful superwoman. Next is the gradient stripes design. You need three polished shades of the same color. I'm using three tones of blue. If you don't have three shades of the same color, you can still make the design using three colors of your choice. It will look different, but still cute. Start with your darkest color, for me this is a navy blue and apply it all over the nail. Then take a slightly lighter shade and make a stroke down the middle of your nail. As you can see I'm drawing this line with the white side of the brush. For the lightest color turn the brush for 90 degrees and draw a stripe with a thinner side to get a thinner stripe. And that's it! Finish up with a fast drying top coat. This design is so lovely and simple. It's done in no time and makes a really beautiful manicure which will spice up your overall look. For the third design we are making this adorable giraffe print nail art. The technique is a bit different but so quick and easy. To make the yellow polish more vibrant I'm starting off with the white as a base. Next apply a very thick layer of yellow. See how I'm adding the polish to make sure that I have a very generous amount of yellow nail polish on. Now you need to work really fast. Make a few orange dots on top while the yellow polish is still wet. This is why you need to apply a thick coat of yellow. The thicker the layer, more time is needed for it to dry. See how the orange polish spreads and makes a perfect giraffe skin pattern. Apply a top coat to seal the design. I think this one is so cool. I painted all my nails on the other hand using this technique. I switched the orange polish with pink, green and red on some nails and it turned out very funky. I love it! Next I made this gradient square design. Again, you need three shades of your desired color. Here I'm using three shades of pink. Start off with the darkest tone and paint your entire nail with it. Take a lighter shade and make a stripe with the wider side of your polish brush. Don't start dragging at a cuticle, you need to leave some space on the base of your nail like me. Now make a thinner stripe with a thin side of your polish brush. Start even further away from the cuticle and drag the stripe up to the tip of the nail. This could already be a finished design, but I want to take it further. Draw a horizontal line with the middle shade like this and don't forget to color the tip. I like to make the corners a bit oval, so here I'm just making some small adjustments. Lastly, make another horizontal line, coloring just the tip of your nail with the darkest color. Apply a fast drying top coat to bring the design together and you end up with a very unique and fun manicure. I love this one since it's so special and different. The last nail art in this tutorial is the diagonal wave. I'm starting with two coats of peachy red as a base. With a white polish, make a diagonal wave shape across the nail. Clean the edges with a Q-tip soaked in acetone and then fill the rest of the nail towards the tip with white. This will give a nice blank canvas for my green nail polish which is not that pigmented. On top of white, any polish looks super bright. So just follow the white edge and make a parallel green wave across the nail, this time more towards the tip. 
clean the edges and apply a top coat to seal your design. I like the colors that I chose, they kind of remind me of watermelon. This design is so cute and simple and you can have loads of fun by switching it with different colors. It would look great just as an accent nail or you can paint all your nails this way. I really enjoyed making these 5 designs but I have many more in my mind and the best way to motivate me to film more of them is to favorite this video and share it with your friends. So amaze me by sharing this nail tutorial on your favorite social network and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye!